views expressed by the host on this show, who happens to be me, are not necessarily the views of the staff, management, nor sponsors of this station, but they ought to be, and soon will be. My friends, I come to you tonight behind a blue dot because I demand anonymity for my own safety. Why? Because I stand accused of being one of the most heinous Americans alive today. Why? Because I believe in the power of the individual. I believe in limited government. I believe in you keeping more of your money. What does that make me? It makes me a conservative. And my friends, there are people who think that people like me shouldn't breathe. I am a big guy. I am asked by reporters all the time, so what gives you the right to breathe? <laughs> there are those who claim to be the guarantors of the First Amendment. They are the politically correct left. They say that they alone. <laughs> I want to get out from behind this dot. They say that they alone know who should and shouldn't speak. My friends, they don't know me, and they don't know you. Many people have said this show's not going to last very long. Well, you know how long this show's going to last? We're not going away until every American agrees with me. <laughs> However long that takes, that's how long we're prepared to stay here. And with the news that they're now com com making a genetic test to find out how long people can live. And they say, maybe three or four years, I'm going to be the first volunteer so that I can be here doing this show <laughs> for the ages. My friends, there's something else you should know. Let me ask you a question. When you go out and buy a car, a TV set, or a VCR, and you enjoy it, what do you do? You enjoy it. When you like it, you use it. In the case of a car, do you call the manufacturer and say, man, I really love this car? I mean, ask yourselves, who among you is the last to call Tokyo and say, man, I really love this car? I'll bet none of you have. <laughs> do you call the dealer and say, man, I love this car? No, you don't. What do you do when you don't like the car? You call the dealer. You call a manufacturer, whoever, and you complain and you moan and you try to make yourself sound that there are 50,000 others like you. Use that as a lesson on this show. Those of you who love me, and there are millions of you who already do, and those of you who don't, soon will. <laughs> those of you who love this show, be prepared to say so. Because those who don't, the liberal guarantors of the First Amendment, who police the speech clause of the First Amendment, who will try to deny me access, will call and say, I hate that show! This is bad for America! It threatens freedom! It threatens democracy! You've got to get it off the air! You must call and say, I love this show. <laughs> I love this man. I don't want this show to go off the air. Believe me, you will be needed. Could we please get rid of the dot? Get rid of the dot. My friends, my name is Rush Limbaugh. There are many who say that my show and I need to be balanced with equal time. They are wrong. I don't need to be balanced with equal time. Show doesn't need to be balanced with equal time. Why? Because I am equal time.